I've got a camera, a tripod, and no easy way to remember my script. How on earth am I gonna make a decent YouTube video? What's up YouTube? Welcome to Stuart Stuff, I'm Stuart. I'm a bit of a tinkerer, but you know, I'm not really that much of a tinkerer. Uh, I know some stuff, but not very much. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna learn a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna make some stuff. I'm gonna share it with you. And so, yeah, that's my stuff. With each video, I want to learn something new. I want to make something with the knowledge I've learned. And then I want to share it with you by posting it here on YouTube. It won't always work out that way, but even in failure, there's an opportunity to learn. So in today's video, I want to be able to mount an iPad onto my tripod. Uh, I've got one of those little uh, bicycle clip things that you get with the GoPro. So I'm going to mount that onto the tripod uh, and then I'm going to make something uh, on my 3D printer that will fit uh, an iPad mount onto that GoPro mount as well. I've got a 3D printer, I've got a PC with Fusion 360 and I've got an idea. What could go wrong? Let's head into Fusion 360. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360 all ready to design the mount for um, the tripod tripod for my iPad to go on to um, because I'm never going to be able to remember all of the things that I need to say um, so I'll have an iPad there that's, uh, that basically tells me what I have to say kind of like my wife um, <laughs> um, so I'm no good at designing uh, an awful lot in Fusion 360 um, and I see the the GoPro standard connector piece, uh, that's probably a little bit beyond my capability at the moment. Uh, but that's kind of the point of this YouTube channel, I think, is just to expand my knowledge and hopefully along with it yours if you don't already have that knowledge. And if you do already have that knowledge, then um, I'd like you to share it with me. So you can do that in the comments down below, as you know. Um, so yeah, so let's get into this. So I don't, as I say, I'm not, I don't have the skills to be able to design that GoPro piece. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I have found uh, a universal GoPro mount on Thingiverse by a chap called Sean Fast, um, and I've uh, I've downloaded that. And the only thing with that is that the file that he has STLs I don't like importing into Fusion 360 because it's just a pain to to edit them and the, the, there's a whole issue with the mesh and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, Sean has kindly put up his original design file um, which is this 123DX file extension which is another um, another Autodesk product um, I think it might actually now be defunct um, but obviously wasn't when he designed it or he still had it um, which was uh, 123 design or 123D design um, so you saved it out like that, but you can't natively import that into Fusion 360. Um, there's a whole thing where you have to actually download the file and rename it as a zip file, uh, and then you can go into the zip file, and then you can see the actual. There's a there's a there's a design file that you can export out of that, which you can pull into Fusion uh, 360. So I've gone ahead and done that already. Um, and if you're if you're interested at all in how to to do that, then I'll. I'll put a link in the description below um, with a, a little video from Autodesk themselves on, on how you go and achieve that. But just for quickness, I've done it already. Um, so what we'll do is we will go ahead and we will uh, open a, a new design from a file. And there it is there, it's this SMT file. So I'll open that up and there we go. So here is Sean's GoPro mount, it's pretty good. Uh, I've done a couple of measurements on the iPad already, so I know that it's roughly about four mil thick, um, and the distance between the edge of the iPad and the edge of the screen is about eight mil. So what I want to do is I want to create a lip around here, and the iPad can just sit in that, and I can angle it using this um, as much as I need to do that. So I, I think I'm just going to create a series of lines. I'm going to come out of this sculpt mode and go back into model, and I will uh, open a, or start a sketch. So we're going to start a sketch with a line, and I'm just going to come out here. I want to design it on this plane, and I'm just going to turn that around so, so that I've got my 
bearings correct. Uh, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to start right at the edge. And we're going to bring it out. I said it was 4 mil thick. So I'm going to bring this out 8 mil, I think, yeah. Because I'm going to want the the thickness of the lip probably to be about 4 mil as well. So um, you take 4 mil and double it. There you go, there's your answer. Um, and I also want the I want the lip to be the same width all the way so from the from the bottom of the lip to the bottom of the mount here as well I want that to be to be 4 mil so I will make this uh, the actual the height of the, the full full length of the lip 12 mil so we'll do that we'll also then create another line and bring this and we'll call that 4 mil another line we'll call that 8 another line that should be 4 yep yeah. and then another line which should, should also be 4 now I'm sure there's a way that you can do all of this in one go um, if there is feel free to tell me in the comments below um, feel free to completely roast me because I'm, uh, I'm no good at any of this as I said that's kind of the whole point of doing what I'm doing so I'll stop the sketch because that's it finished um, and let's turn this around I've got a sneaking suspicion though that it's not going to be anywhere near this model so uh, yeah look at that what a surprise nowhere near the model at all um, yeah so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just move over here uh, and I'm going to come right around yeah, I'm going to, uh, just for sanity's sake, I'll bring it so it's the right way up. And I think what I want to do is I want to move this body all the way over so that the centre point sits on this this line. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll just uh, right click on the body and move. Is that going to do the whole thing? I hope so. We'll see. Oh no, I'm trying to move faces, so that's not going to work. Um, I want to select the body. There we go move and we'll move the whole thing I'll move the whole thing over to here yeah that's not quite right so let's let's try and make that 63 we'll try 63 yeah 63's well not quite maybe 64 yeah too far 62 okay 62.5 <laughs> Yeah, that's close enough. It doesn't need to be absolutely bang on, I don't suppose. Um, so, I could probably have projected that as well, that sketch, but I didn't. Now, where did it go? Oh, it's upside down. Okay. See, I told you I was no good at this. So, what I want to do is I want to, now that it's absolutely slap bang, or as close as slap bang in the middle as I can make it, uh, I'm going to want to extrude that. So, I'm going to hit E and I want to make the direction symmetric and I don't know why I did that um, so let's pull that out probably want to be doing that actually pull it out I think it's got about yeah about 12 mil that looks about right and it's not coming, coming out at all um, over the edge so that's good and we're going to make it a join because we want to join it to this body so press ok and what do you know there you go that's all part of the same body which is what I wanted so great uh, so hopefully that will mean then that the iPad will sit just snugly in there if it needs to be adjusted backwards or forwards in any way then it will just pivot on this point um, and that will be fine so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this sketch or save this uh, model and I'm going to call it uh, iPad GoPro mount and that should hopefully fit nicely onto the bicycle mount that came with the camera and that's fitted to the tripod so that should, uh, should be nice. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to save this whole model 
as the as an STL so that I can pop it into Cura. So I'll do that. And I'm going to call it GoPro iPad GoPro mount. Already had a go at this, but it didn't quite work, and I wasn't recording it, so I thought I'll do this again. And yeah, so let's go into Cura, open the file, and this was this one. And there we go. There it is. There, all nice and in Cura now. The only trouble with that is though that that's going to need a little bit of support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And that should pop up, yeah it does, um, and that will mean then that only this part here of the of the model is going to need support, because uh, what I didn't want to do was I didn't want the this piece to need all the support because support's got a terrible habit of leaving a lot of scarring, so, and I'm not that great at tidying up 3D prints at the moment, um, although nothing about a sandpaper and elbow grease can't sort out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put ordinary support on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the experimental tree support in this version of Cura. Um, I quite like the tree support. So it's it. I don't know whether it's my settings or my printer or whatever it is, but those supports are really easy to break off. They they are quite brittle. They're enough to to hold the model, but they're brittle enough that they come off really easily and they don't leave a lot of scarring on the print either. So it's going to take about an hour or so to print. So I'll uh, I'll save that out as an STL. Um, we'll call it the GoPro iPad mount. As I say, I tried to do this before. Um, yeah, let's just overwrite it. I'll next steps will be to pop it into Octoprint, send it to the printer, and print it. So hopefully, if I've done all this right, you'll have a time lapse around about now. Yeah, that didn't work out very well at all. The Fusion 360 modeling part that was absolutely fine but about five minutes into the print the printer just stopped dead all of the motors all of the fans the heat bed the hot end everything just stopped what are you going to do as i said you know with it, with failure there's an opportunity to learn so i dug out about a little bit on the the controller card for the 3d printer it's a gtec gt2560 uh, and i did some testing on the power supply everything all the power is getting to the board it needs to get to the board i'm measuring it on the on the board as well all of the the fuses have got continuity everything seems absolutely fine the board itself is getting power the board doesn't seem to be particularly fried i've been able to plug it into octoprint i'm able to get all of the readings that i need to get i can send uh, g code and everything it just none of the stuff that's moving is moving i don't know what's going wrong so if you've got any ideas we'll use this as an opportunity to learn drop a note in the comments below if you've got any kind of an idea uh, if you've got an idea i'll post another video but what are you going to do so on that rather unfortunate note we'll leave it there if you liked the video please consider liking and subscribing and also just let's have some chat put some comments in the in the bit below um, and you can also hit me up on twitter as well i'm at it's just Stuart. but other than that we'll try and pick it up next video we'll get the time lapse up and running we'll do all of that stuff so thanks again for watching i'll see you on the next one